Hello dear students, so this is part 2 of the topic percentage of CSAT PYQ series. So in this part, we are going to discuss the questions from next two years, which is 2015 and 2016, right? In part 1, what we have discussed? In part 1, we have discussed from 2011 to 2014, right? And in this part, we are going to discuss 2015 and 2016, right? So I'll tell you how many questions have been asked. So this is the table. In 2015, they have asked three questions and in 2016, they have asked four questions, right? So the weightage of this topic is increasing year by year actually, right? So friends, uh, let's start with the questions. In 2015, the question was, an automobile owner reduced his monthly petrol consumption when the prices went up. The price consumption relationship is as follows. Price in rupees per liter, monthly consumption in liter. See everyone, here price is 40 rupees, then his consumption was 60 rupees, right? So just multiply them. This is what? This is 2400, right? So his monthly expenditure was 2400 rupees, right? Because the price was rupees 40 and his consumption was 60 liter per month, right? So his monthly expenditure on petrol was rupees 2400. Again, when the price became 50, he reduced his consumption by 248, but his expenditure is 24 again. Just multiply these two values, his expenditure is 2400. Again, when the prices, I mean the price went up to 60 rupees, he reduced his consumption to 40 liters and his expenditure is still 2400 rupees. So it means he is trying to maintain his expenditure like in every month, fine. So his expenditure is 2400 every month on petrol, right? Here also his expenditure is 2400. So now the question is, if the price goes up to rupees 80, so 80, and obviously his expenditure will be 2400, right? So 84 into 30 is 2400, right? So obviously his expected consumption of petrol will be 30 liters, right everyone? Because every time his expenditure on petrol is constant, which is 2400, right? Clear? It's a simple question based on the percentage compensation, right? Okay, fine. Now let's move to the next question. Next question says, in a test, a candidate attempted only eight questions and secured 50% marks in each of the questions. All right. So let us assume that the maximum marks for every question was 10 marks. 10 marks, right, for every question. Fine. So if a candidate attempted eight questions, right, and in every question he secured 50% marks. So it means in every question he's got five marks. So it means total he got 40 marks, right. And if he obtained a total of 40% in the test, so 40% is equal to 40, then 100% is equal to what? 100% is equal to 100. So it means the total marks for the entire test is 100 marks, right? So 100 divided by 10, because per, per question we have assumed that the maximum marks are 10. So total 100 marks are there in the question paper. 100 by 10 it is 10, right? It means in the question paper we total have 10 questions. All right, everyone. So we total have 10 questions in the test, right? Option B is the correct choice, right? Again, a question based on common sense only, right? Okay, now let's move to the next one. Next question is saying, Candidates in competitive examination consisted of 60% men and 40% women. Okay, so there are 100% candidates out of that 100%, 60% are men and 40% are women, right? 70% men and 75% women cleared the qualifying test. 70% men, 70% men means 70% of 60. So 66 into seven is 42%. So 42% men cleared the qualifying test and 75% female. So 75% of 40 is what? 30. So 30% female, I mean 30% of the total female qualified the test, right? Okay. After that, 
and entered the final test where 80% men and 70% women were successful. So 80% of this number were successful. So 80% of this is what? 80% of this is 33.6, right? Because 40 into, I mean, 4 into 8 is 32, 2 into 8 is, I mean, 16, 1.6. So this is 32 plus 1.6 that becomes 33.6. So they are the finally selected successful men. I mean successful candidates, finally successful candidates, right? So, so this is successful candidates. I mean male successful candidates and female candidates, 70% of this, 70% of this is 21. 21 female were successful, right? Okay. So. Now, which of the following statement is correct? Okay, success rate is higher for women. Women is 21% and male is 33.6%. So this is not correct. Overall success rate is below 50%. Overall success rate. So 33.6 plus 21. So this will be 54.6, right? So it is more than 50%, which is also not correct. C option, more men cleared the examination than women. Yeah, more men cleared the examination than women. Yeah, it is correct. C choice is the correct answer. Right, everyone? Fine. Simple question, right? Based on the common sense. All right. Now let's move to the next question. Next question is from 2016. Question says, there is an order of 19,000 quantity of a particular product from a customer. The firm produces the firm produces 1000 quantity of that product per day out of which 5% are unfit for sale. Okay. So firm produces 1000 product per day out of which 5% are not fit for the sale. So 5% of 1000 is 50. So 50 are not fit for the sale. It means 1000 minus 50, only 950 are the fit for sale, right? And there is total an order of 19,000 quantity of that product. Right. And per day, the company is producing 950, which are fit for sale. Right. Question is in how many days will the order be completed? So it is 1900 divided by 19,000 divided by 950. So 1010 cancel. So 950, I mean, uh, 995 uh, into 2 is 190. So this is 20. Right. So in 20 days, the order will be completed. All right, everyone. Fine. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Okay, next question is, Anita's mathematics test had 70 problems carrying equal marks. 10 arithmetic, okay, so 10 arithmetic. Okay, 30 algebra. Okay, 30 geometry, all right. Okay. Although she answered 70% of arithmetic, 70% of arithmetic means 7 of arithmetic, 40% of algebra, 40% of 30 is what 12 and 60% of geometry, 60% of 30 is 18. So she, she answered total 7 plus 12 plus 18, it is 37 questions, right? Out of 70 questions, she answered 37 questions, right? Okay, she did not pass the test because she got less than 60% marks. So it means total passing marks are 60%. So 60% is what? 70, 60% of 70, right? 60% of 70 is what? 42, right? So ideally she could have, I mean, she should have scored 42 questions correctly, but she answered only 37 questions correctly, right? So the number of more questions she should have answered correctly to earn 60% passing marks. So obviously five questions are more required. Five more questions are required, right? Okay, so th 42 minus 37 is five. So five more questions, B option is the correct choice. Right, everyone? Five more questions are required for her to correct, to solve them correctly, to get through, right? Okay, now let's move to the next question. Next question is two numbers X and Y separately, sorry, X and Y respectively 20% and 28% less than the third number Z. Okay. So X, Y and Z. Just uh, assume that Z as 100, right? So 
x is 20% less than z. So 20% less than this value will be 80 and 28% less than 100 will be 72, right? By what percentage is the number y less than the number x? Fine. See everyone, question is saying y is what percentage less than x? So y is 72, x is 8. So y is 8 less than x. So 8 is what percentage of 80? So 8 is actually 10 percentage of 80, right? So the answer is 10%. Alright everyone, it is 10% of 80. Correct? Okay, fine. Now let's move to the next question. Next question is total emoluments of two persons are the same, but one gets allowances to the extent of 65% of his basic pay and the other gets allowances to the extent of 80% of his basic pay. The ratio of the basic pay of the former to the basic pay of the later. Okay. So let's say they are A and B. Fine. So A gets 65% allowances to her basic pay, right? It means total salary of A is 165% and total salary of B is 180%. Right, everyone? Fine. So ratio of the salaries of A and B. See, 165% of A is equal to 180% of B, right? This is given in the question. So total, I mean the basic pay of A and B will be the reverse ratio of these two numbers. So this is 180 is to 165, right? So this will be the answer. So uh, both the numbers are divisible by 11, sorry, not 11. Both the numbers are divisible by 15, 15 into 12, 15 into 11, right? So the answer is 12 by 11. This is the answer. All right. This concept is known as reverse ratio concept, everyone. Right. Where a percent of B, a percent of X is equal to uh, Y percent of B. Right. So the ratio of A's to B is in the ratio of Y's to X. So this concept is known as reverse ratio concept. All right, everyone. Fine. So I think now the questions are over, friends. Guys, now it is the time to discuss about our offerings. What unjust offers you guys? So we have some programs related to CSAT only, right? And let me discuss those programs in detail. So first program is CSAT foundation program. This is actually CSAT foundation program. This is a long-term program for CSAT, right? So those who are targeting like after two years or after one year, so they can join this program, right? And then CSAT PYQ program. CSAT PYQ program is a very targeted program that we have designed here. We have collected all the questions that came in CSAT from 2011 to 2021 and we have segregated those questions topic wise and concept wise, right? So we are discussing all those questions and obviously we are discussing the concepts that are coming through those questions in the CSAT examination, fine. So we have discussed all the concepts through questions. So actually we are teaching in this program through PYQs only, right? So here you are getting like which type of questions are coming from the from the certain topic and moreover here we have discussed some other dimensions of those questions also I mean which type of questions may further asked I mean may be asked further related to this topic or a, or a particular topic fine so this is CSAT PYQ program and then CSAT crash course those who I mean those students who don't have much time or those who have less time they can join this program I mean we have crash course for two months for 50 days or for uh, uh, one month also, right? So you can join according to your availability and your convenience. Fine. And then CSAT weekend batch. This batch we have designed for uh, working professional candidates, those who don't have time in weekdays, they may join this program, right? It is a very beneficial program for those candidates, those who are, I mean, those who don't have time in weekdays basically. Fine. And then CSAT test series along with the discussion. See everyone, this is again a very good and targeted program that we have designed. Here, we have I mean, we have designed the questions which are strictly based on the recent pattern of CSAT, fine. Because here, obviously, if you compare the paper of last two years from other papers, then you will see the drastic change, right? So obviously, we have designed the questions based on that only, okay? So this is a very good program and obviously, the discussion is also very important, fine. How to tackle the paper, how to eliminate the options, this is actually very important. How to read the question properly, right? So this discussion is also very important. And after that, 
we have a free program in our telegram five star question series in telegram see everyone what is this five star telegram i mean five star question series in telegram here we upload five questions every day in our telegram channel okay and we discuss those questions sometimes in telegram and sometimes in our website fine here you may take those five questions every day to get the momentum i mean till the examination you may just get connected uh, with the questions for csat you just take five questions every day and uh, i mean maintain your momentum till the examination so this is a very i mean very beneficial program for the students so guys please get benefited out of it right join this program and let me introduce about our uh, contact details so friends we have a telegram channel the link for the same is telegram slash unjust right so this is our telegram channel and our website is unjust.com right and if you guys want to talk to us then we have a very simple number 9613192021 right again 9613192021 it's a very simple and convenient number right easy to learn in fact and let me tell you something about our classes so we have offline classes offline classes we have in or in old rajinder nagar new delhi right so if you want to join our offline classes you may contact us and you may come to offline classes which are in or in right and we also have online classes so online classes i mean uh, you just get the link and you may start your lectures right uh, just by contacting us fine so friends so uh, these are the details that i wanted to discuss with you guys right and please uh, stay tuned for very good content we guys are working for you day in day out right and please share these videos with your friends also so that they may also get benefited out of it right so thank you everyone thanks for watching thanks for watching the video thank you thank you so much